What's my story? First, our assignment editor Kyle gives me the lowdown on what the book says about people who live in Cranston. White trash, mall rats, mafia wannabes, ultra guidos, old school metalheads, and paperclip company employees. I live in Cranston. <laughs> So I set out to get the book, called The Absolutely Worst Places to Live in America, and wanted to see if anything it says really does ring true. Visiting Cranston is like waking up inside a Chess King outlet store circa 1986. It's unsettling, disorienting, and garish. Cranston, Rhode Island is hideously ugly, depressing to the point of surrealism. I think people who live here would tend to disagree. Crest is a wonderful community to make a home for families. And to enjoy the outdoors, check out what we found in Edgewood. The book says Providence boasts great restaurants and a charming waterfront, while Cranston boasts none of these things. I don't know, look out there, it looks pretty charming to me. It's a great area, it's very nice. Moved here from Providence to be over here, close to the water. And the insults get even more personal. He writes, you can't imagine the ways in which Cranstonites mangle the English language. Actually, I think we're called Cranstonians. And aquanets and nail salons will never go out of business as long as Cranston exists. <laughs> what do you okay, Big hair's not in Cranston. It's in Johnston. Yeah, the nails maybe. Well, I don't have big hair and I don't have my nails done. So where did this negative image of Cranston come from? Maybe it means Cranston, Wyoming? Cranston, Idaho? No, it's Cranston, Rhode Island, all right. The author even goes so far as to make light of the news stories we cover. Thank you for turning to Jack. Specifically mentioning WJAR-TV News, which just has me more convinced he has no idea what he's talking about. Mario Flario, NBC10 News, Cranston.